Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. It's the Portland Trail Blazers and the Chicago Bulls. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Kersey is out there with Williams. And it's Drexel. And there's Porter. And it's Duck in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Drexler kicks to Williams over Rodman. Williams can't get it to go. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely. And that's a shot. And if you're a pro, you need to make that one. Now Porter. Pass to Williams. Kersey with a screen on Rodden. From deep, Drexler. It's rebounded by Harper. And Chicago has possession. Here's Jordan. Drexler with a defensive effort. Bulls on D. Drexler drawn the double team. Stripped away. He's all alone. Here's Rodman. Drops in the breakaway late. And how about the fast hands and then getting right out in transition? Well, turning defense into offense, Greg. Outstanding effort there. Swiped it away with ease and off they went. And yes, it's good. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Here's Longley, and he makes good on the layup. Longley's got his first points in this one. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness and the fearlessness there, Greg. I mean, very committed to getting the shot he wanted. It's Porter outside. Longley grabs the miss. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. An almost perfect start to this game. Four for five. They're rolling. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Duckworth sets a screen. Drexler passes to Kersey. Four on the shot clock. Porter, no luck. They're cold so far. Only one for five to begin this one. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Clyde Drexler. Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. Here is Porter. It's an eight point differential. Inside, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Yeah, he just threw that possession away. Hopefully, he learns from that and doesn't make the same mistake again. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Drexler against Jordan. There's the basket, and make it a double digit lead. Jordan's got six. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this thing. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflating.
Jordan against Drexel. There's the pick. And there's the feed to Porter. Shot to stop the run. It's good on the putback. A guy like him cannot be left alone around the hoop. If you do, it'll be buffet style all day long. Plenty of seconds right there. Here's Jordan. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Bulls have had two chances at the line already, making them both. At the line for two. Free throw good, Jordan. Steve Kirsch check in for Harper. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And Pippen gets it to go. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. It's stolen by Rodman. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Danny Ainge has checked in for Porter. Ainge with the ball. At the elbow, Williams. Double team on Williams. Drexler outside. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Drexler's got five. And, you know, it's obvious he's a talented scorer. I mean, that's a given. A guy you can depend on get it done in a lot of ways. Rodman's shot is off. Trailblazers trail by nine. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Ainge against Kirk. Pass to Duckworth. It's all in by the Bulls. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pippen misses. The defense did not do a good job guarding that one, Kevin. Don't know how he missed that layup. Drexler outside. It's good from the top of the key. He has seven. And so it's Chicago. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. Right back after this break. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. And also, they're jumping on a lot of turnovers, making sure they turn them into points at the other end. Trailblazers trail by seven. Kerr is out there with Jordan. Then it's Rodman. Then there's Bill Wennington. And it's Pippen in at the threesome. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. Here is Duckworth. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Shot clock at five. Petrovic with the pass to Duckworth. The shot by Ainge, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Kerr dishes to Jordan. Here's Wennington, defended by Duckworth. Pippen kicks to Kerr. Fires from deep. And Steve Kerr true from outside. Portland with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Drexler outside. 
just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Duckworth passes to Ainge. Over curve. Another miss by Ainge. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's Drexler following the basket by Michael Jordan. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Check in for Chicago. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Duckworth kicks to Ainge. Duckworth sets a screen. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Off target from outside. Chicago leading by 12. All going up court. Outside Jordan. An easy two points on the layup. Jordan's got 12 in the game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here is Ainge. Wyatt so far offensively searching for his first points of the game. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. And, guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear, he's not one of them. Terrible job. Oh! Oh, wow! Are you Oh, my goodness. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. And, guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. <laughs> Chicago making a switch here. Simpkins checked in, and the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Terry Porter, he's checked in for Drexler. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Here's Petrovic. Portland again missing. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 12 to 3 run. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Well, I like that he shows no hesitation there. Well, that's as easy as it gets, quite honestly. Riding solo and coasting all the way to the rack. No simpler than that. Fires the three. The rebound by Simpkins. The Bulls leading by 14. Jordan, the pass to Simpkins. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And not the prototype power forward, but he has tremendous athletic ability. Passes to Petrovic. A pass to Duckworth. Who coach with the steal. And here we go. And it's Jordan with the jam. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. We've got 28 seconds left now here in the second. Duckworth's shot is off. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. 
Jordan against Ainge. Here's Petrovich. It's tipped, and so it's Chicago. Closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We come back right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here. Got Shaq. Got Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you back to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are in blowout territory, leading by 20. Kenny, what do you think? How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. Shaq, how do you think Portland played? Well, they got to do a better job on the glass. Ernie, they got outworked. They were weak physically. That's part of how they fell behind in this game. I think if they can control those things, they'll be okay, Ernie. And we're just about ready for the start of the third quarter. Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll see you. Now it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. On the floor for Portland. We've got Jerome Kersey. Kevin Duckworth is out there with Williams. Then there's Drexler, and it's Porter and at the point guard position. And defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, just a real lack of aggressiveness there right now. I mean, can't give up these types of layups to begin the quarter, Greg. I mean, that's a no-no. One shot. The Bulls leading by 17. Here's Harper. Makes it off the glass. And he's got great length for a point guard, and it served him well on that play. Drexler with it. He's picked up by Jordan. And a wide open look for Porter. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And great instincts, too, guys. Anticipating where the miss was going. That one good for two. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. Yeah, you know, continue to pour it on them. That's what they want to do right now. Doing their best to put this game out of reach and in the win column. Pass to Longley. Here's Jordan. Excellent D from Drexler. Boy, the defense was great. Superb, stellar, platinum level. Can't really contest that shot any better than that. Mm. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And there's the call. Chicago the foul. The Trailblazers have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. The free throw drops for Drexler. He doesn't get the second one. The Bulls leading by 18. To the inside, Harper. 
Another shot. Trying to get open is Drexel. Rodman, the second chance bucket after some strong work on the rebound. And I like that they're not settling. Not Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now a timeout called by Portland. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they've got to talk about. Absolutely, Greg. I mean, they're getting crushed, killed, hammered, pulverized in the post. quarter here over a minute and a half into it he's looking for Porter and finds him back to Drexel again the miss by the Trailblazers and physically there's no doubt they've been the stronger team a plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know defensive rebounding just such a crucial part of the game yeah it's finishing your defense Greg we know that you can defend then you got to rebound the miss and you got to get to the glass with intensity and it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. Kersey kicks to Williams. Here's the floater. And here's Jordan outside. Pass to Longwood. Harper dishes to Jordan. Second chance shot. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Portland called for the foul. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Michael Jordan. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. And so Jordan nails both of them. Porter against Harper. Porter passes to Duckworth. Kicks it out to Drexler. Drexler with another miss. All the time in the world to get that one off. Here's Pippen. Rebounded by Duckworth. Duckworth's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's Porter with the three. Porter can't get that one to fall. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Here's Jordan. Here's Longley. There's big Luke Longley cleaning things up inside. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Duckworth with the bucket. Bad matchup for the defense, no doubt about it. Doesn't have the height to influence the shot there. Never mind blocking. Pippen kicks to Hart. Offline with his three. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. And off the front iron, and in it goes. 109 left here in the third quarter. Jordan kicks to Rodman over Williams. Rodman shot is off. And here are the Trailblazers. And here's Kersey. Drexler outside. No good on the triple. You know, this just hasn't been his quarter. I mean, he doesn't seem to be comfortable at all. 
particularly shooting. I mean, he knows he's struggling right now. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Porter against Harper. A three from Drexler, and he's good on the three ball. Drexler's got seven points for the quarter. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, not a lot of effort put forth on defense there. I mean, I think he's definitely got to play up on him more and off the screen in that situation. Porter against Harper. Poked away. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Porter. <laughs> Six seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Jordan, and it's Jordan with the jam. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. And so it's Chicago. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against him. Their defense has been stifling. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. We're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So the Bulls five right now. Simpkins is out there with Bill Wennington. Then it's Kerr. Then it's Tony Kukoc. And it's Bushler in at the two. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Now the dish to Brown. Here's Petrovic. Brown kicks to Jones. Just five to shoot. Here's Ainge. And the shot no good. A bit short. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Here's Kerr for three. Good on the three-point shot. Just increasing their advantage. And right now, they're in a zone on both ends. Yeah, you know, it's got to be terribly deflating for the opposition. Boy, they look helpless. Really getting beat up physically and emotionally. Here's Ainge. The pick gave him all the room he needed, and he knocks down the J. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Simpkins passes to Wennington. There's the pick. Here's Bushler. Back to Kerr. And it's off from three-point range. Ainge against Kerr. Ainge the pass to Petrovic. Let's the three fly. Another miss by Ames. I mean, his field goal percentage isn't good. He's not helping his team out there shooting this poorly. Dishes it to Kukoc. It's hauled in by Brown. Feeds it to Ainge. Petrovic with the pass to Brown. He dishes it to Jones. They set the pick. It's stolen by Kerr. Three on three. Out of bounds. Portland takes possession. Trailblazers making a switch here. Jones has checked in. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Petrovic with the pass to Jones. Jones against Kerr, and it's out of bounds. The Trailblazers able to retain possession here. Ron Harper, he's checked in for Steve Kerr. Drexler, he's checked in for the Trailblazers.
Jones kicks to Jones. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Bulls? Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. Yeah, I mean, they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Move shots. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Passes it to Simpkins. Back to Harper. He doesn't hit that one. And it's Portland the other way. Knocked away. Harper against Jones. He feeds it to Drexler. Kicks it out to Jones. Just five on the clock. With the shot. And it's Drexler missing. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Who coach passes to Wennington. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Jones sets the pick for Brown. A three from Drexler. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Tell you what, it does not matter who's shooting. The defense has got to be better at getting a hand up on long-range shooters. You've got to challenge the shot. Here's Kukoc. Here's Simpkins. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. Takes the 13-footer. Chicago grabs the miss. I mean, look, no one guarding you. It's better to not pull up and try the leaner. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. So it's Portland now. Here's Drexler. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Outside Harper. Fade away. Off target with that shot. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potent